Hey, it's James from Free Lap School. Today's video, we're installing the Simpson and Partner EV charger, and they look brilliant. Let's get into this. Right then, so we've got a bit of EV Ultra cable we're going to be running in. So, inside this, it's a 6mm and it's got a data cable in there. So him just rolling this out now. So the actual charger is going to fit in here. So it's going to nicely fit here. It's going to go down. It's going to flip along. I think, I think the customer's going to dig it a lot deeper, but essentially it's going to, that cable's going to go through here. Pop out in the garage. And then it'll flip up along and into here. And then what we've got, we've got a double pole, type A ICD. It's a B40 on this, which will allow you 7 kilowatts. Right yeah, there, so it's just reeling this down. Yeah, we'll show you the charger then. It's a nice little unit, it's packaged beautifully. There we go, we'll start the, the wind now. Let's open it up then. So, comes nicely packaged, so we'll get him out of here. So, yeah, I'm loving the presentation. We had, a, we had a look earlier when it first arrived, just to make sure everything was kind of there. But, yeah, nice little opening. Look at that, an extension of your home, not just your car. That's cool branding, isn't it? Little installation pack then. Let's pop that on there. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah. So you get a little mounting template, so we can cut that off and use that to help us mount it, but generally we'll just uh, uh, hold it up. So this, this flaps forward beautifully, and that pops out, so all your little fixings and bits. Let's pop that up there. And then here's the charger then. So the cool thing about this, you can go to the website, you can customize the body of it, you can customize the lid. So with this, you can get wooden finishes, you can get like a wooden lid and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. So I've seen some installed like on a log, log cabin, so it's all wood clad. And then you've got like a, a wood on your charger to match it. It looks really cool. So yeah, let's have a look then. What else we got? So on this, I think we got the wireless CT. So there should be a wireless CT with that. So again, uh, it's just a clamp that goes around your mains electrics essentially um, Around the main cables coming in it'll measure the load of the site and make sure Make sure that you don't pull more than the actual fuse head of the of the incoming So if you had an 80 amp fuse head uh, It will basically make sure that when you're charging this at 40 amps So at 7 kilowatt it's not gonna, if your house is using more than 40, like 50 amps, it's gonna reduce that, so just so you don't blow your main, your main fuse coming in. But yeah, it's a nice little unit, so holding it up next to me then. Look at that, so, tiny little unit. And everything's built into that perfectly, so. But yeah, we'll whip him open then, and see how we get this installed then. But yeah, that's Simpson and Partners, sweet. There we go, so just two screws on the underneath, and then this will just lift off nicely then. There we go, we've got that cable through now, we'll get the whole through. So the cable's just above the top of that then, and run along to the charger. As far as the charger then, it's just got these four screws then, so we'll just loosen these off, and then we can get access to these terminals then. Right, then we've got this off then, so it's just four screws, and there's a little screw underneath, and then this thing, this uh, socket cover pops off then. So I'll we'll just put that to one side then. So here's your little, uh, here's your little charger then. You can see it's got some fixing holes, so two top, one middle. So what I'll do is get this mounted up then where we want it. So customer wants it. Again, he's just trying to do it down there. I don't know how he's going to do it, but, <laughs> but yeah, he's going to end up charger sitting there then. We've got these uh, lined up with this brick, so it's nice, neat, and sweet, and the cable should just fly to the bottom there. Nice, neat, and sweet then. Yeah, right, that's the charger mounted then. So nice, nice and straight. So just knock that out then. A little compression gland in there. And then we've got to terminate this and clip up. So we'll do a nice little neat line down there, get a couple of cleats in, get that wired in. And then we're just gonna wire into these terminals. And that'll do then, so we've got the charger mounted. Just clipping this cable up now then, using these cleats. Got it stripped in there with the earth. We've basically, um, <laughs> isolate the earth from the house so essentially this has got a built-in pen fault detection so what that does is you got your live earth and neutral coming in and what that will do essentially it'll run through your pen fault detection if it measures any well greater than 70 volts between earth and neutral it will shut off any charge any any 
if you had your car plugged in it'll, it'll shut off those live earth and neutral coming out of the pen fault detection so uh, the earth isn't connected so essentially if the neutral coming into the property was severed and the line's still there anything metal in the house or your big car sat on drive this hunk of metal would become like a big human fly zapper so it just disconnects that and saves your life so that's what that pen fault detection does so if you bypass that by putting an armoured gland in and earthing the chassis of that with the house's earth then essentially just bypassed that earth disconnection basically it's like an earth switch essentially so it'll switch off the earth and line and neutral at the same time so, and uh, yeah there we go that's pen fault detection Right, here we go then. So we've got P1, P2, P3, but it's only P1 this, it's single phase if you look there. If you look there, if it'll allow me to show you. But there we go, so we've got uh, line one, neutral and earth, so that's all wired up. So now, I'm going to power it up and have a look at doing the wireless CT. So, interesting, not, not a lot of companies do wireless CTs, so it'll be interesting to see the, the setup for this. And then the CT then. That's that cable. We've just uh, took the. That's the uh, data cable within the. What do you call it? I can't speak to me. <laughs> that's the data cable within the DV Ultra cable. So we could actually wire a hardwire CT on now. Uh, but yeah, we just had the Ultra EV cable with us. So. Oh well, right then. So we'll have a go at the wireless setup and see how that looks. It's all powered up now. So we're just going to the app then. And we just found that charger uh, through Bluetooth. So you click on that. It comes up with this, um, all the details about it then. Nice and easy then. So here we're going to set up the wireless system, the wireless thing. So we've put that onto the on mode. Uh, we've clicked, we've... Click, we've clicked wireless device for the uh, energy manager. And now we're just going to click pair. There we go, there we go. So it's popped up now for the energy manager. So we click add. And that's added so nice and easy so that should when we connect the ct into ct1 and then put it around the main tails coming in we should be sensing the site's load there we go that's the app up and running then so if you have a look in the app then so what you can do is, is go onto the schedule and charge your car between certain times so you might find that you get cheaper tariffs and you go on like a 12 while 4 a.m tariff where it's half the price you see so you can set that up but if you know if you haven't got that you can just literally pick override or you can even lock it so people aren't um using it if you're not charging your car but if you want to, if you want to use it and you're not bothered about the schedule you just leave it unlocked and shoot it on override so then as soon as you plug in it'll start pulling so that's it there we go that's the front cover back on then so we flat this down this lights up nicely look at that so we've got the final little metal lid in case it's to go back on and there we go, that's the lid on. That's looking dead smart, that isn't it? And then you come on, charge your car, that lights up nicely, and you know where to plug it in. Beautiful. And just to show you that lock function then, so if you look, it's red, little red neon. Before you hit that unlock feature, it changes to like a white, and then you can charge then. So, unlock that for the customer. Yeah, hey, that's all up and running then. Yeah, so, yeah, we got there, we got there. But yeah, so uh, anyone could come in, well, the people who come to the house are able to plug in there when he unlocks the app and uh, get everything up and running then. So yeah, if you like this kind of content, hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the little bell notification so you know when we next upload. As always, have good for me, and I'll see you on the next one. Hey, how funny that is, that customer, right? Like, so now I'm just going to get a quick video for, uh, for ending. Anyway. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I said, Oh, anyone about to come, anyone about to come in and charge and that? And he's going, Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> yep, yep. I thought I was talking to him, <laughs> bless him. But yeah, that's us done. So now I'm off to Amsterdam tomorrow, at least. So that should be a bit of fun. I think you and Hayden are going to be doing a bit of, a bit of work. But yeah, I'll, I'll drop you off now. I've got a, a chip shop to go to. Do you want to sort that laptop out? But that should be a nice, fun little job.